How do you guide the user to complete a transaction on the website or anticipate usability issues due to bottlenecks or gaps in user experience? You analyze the user flow. And the best way to do so is to create a user flow diagram. Hi, my name is Alex and welcome to UX Tweaks channel. Today we will dive into the process of creating a user flow diagram, a valuable UX tool helping designers create better user experiences. Ready? Let's jump right in. A user flow diagram is a graphical representation of the steps, decision points, and possible pathways users take to achieve a goal on a website or application. They are used to inform interface decisions, prioritize features, and ensure seamless and intuitive user interactions. For example, a user flow diagram may depict the steps a user takes to complete a transaction in a mobile banking app. Before getting to create a user flow diagram, let's discuss something very important. A user flow is not identical to a user journey. User flow focuses on the micro level interactions within a single interface, while a user journey considers the macro level experience across the entire user lifecycle. So a user flow represents how users move from one screen or element to another within a digital interface. A user journey can start with a user seeing a product ad and end with post-purchase customer support. Great, now let's discuss how to create a user flow diagram. The first thing to know is some basic symbols used in the process. Generally, five symbols are used. Ovals or circles, rectangles, parallelograms, diamonds, and arrows. Ovals or circles represent the entry point and end point of the user flow. Rectangles represent processes or actions that help lead the user to the desired endpoint. Parallelograms depict external data that is necessary for the user to arrive at the final destination. Diagrams symbolize user decision points. And finally, arrows represent the direction of the user flow. To create a realistic user flow diagram, you need to understand your users. What are their goals? What are their behavior patterns? What are their expectations from the website based on their previous experiences? The best way to analyze this is to create a UX persona. A UX persona is a fictional representation of your target user. Usually, it is created based on extensive user research, so it helps better understand user behaviors. Another thing that would be worth doing is mapping out the user journey. It will provide insights into how users came to know about your website and what are their potential goals. Thus, it will help you adjust elements in the user flow to better fulfill users' needs. To learn more about creating a UX persona or a user journey map, check out the links in the description. The beginning of the diagram creation itself starts with identifying the entry point. An entry point is the first point of user interaction with your website or application. For example, an entry point might be a blog page or a landing page. Alternatively, the user might come from a social media post or through a sales funnel. The second step is identifying the final point of user interaction with your website. It should represent the goal your user and you are trying to achieve. For example, an endpoint can be the completion of the order or when the user signs up for your website newsletter. Now analyze what steps the user needs to take to arrive from A to B. The most important thing here is to understand what information the user will need and at what time. Ask yourself, if I were a user trying to achieve a goal, what would my course of action be? What would I expect? What would make me frustrated? Identify what actions the users would take and vital points at which they would make decisions. What would be the direction and connection between these points? After you have an understanding of all these user flow parts, draw the diagram. 
Use the five symbols we discussed and don't forget to gather feedback from stakeholders, designers, sales reps, and other teams to adjust the user flow diagram for a more realistic representation. There we go. Don't forget to check out our videos on how to create a UX persona and a user journey map. Like and subscribe to watch more videos on all things UX related. See you next time.